Well, good morning and happy Valentine's Day. Sorry, I'm just a few minutes later than I planned. I um, I realized I didn't have my adhesive. <laughs> I was just happy I figured that out before I started the live. You know, there's always something, but that's all right. I hope you all are having a great day, and I hope it's filled with lots of love and laughter. And what better thing to start the day with than some stamping? So I'm just going to jump right in. Um, this month's cards are going to feature um, celebration items again and a few other things that aren't. Um, just because we only have two weeks left of celebration. And if you don't know what that is, that's um, Stampin' Up's annual sale where when you place a $50 purchase, you get to choose um, a free item. And there's even um, two other items um, with a hundred dollar purchase you can select now you don't have to you could get two of the fifty dollar items and they're all fabulous so it's it's really hard to decide what to get so I am gonna start here with this thanks card and this is just the sweetest easiest little card to make we um, finally Stampin Up has offered um, some layering dies and let's see I do have them right here they're called Amazing Thanks dies. They are in the um, June, January to June mini catalog. And they say thanks and you are amazing. I know it's kind of hard to figure out what they say with them in reverse, but as you can see, the two pieces together layer thanks. And then the other set is you are amazing. So you can even just use amazing. Um, but yeah, they are great. You can actually get them bundled with the amazing silhouette stamp set i haven't used it yet but it is my goal to um stamp something with this this week at least one thing and post that on the website so so um look for that we'll see if i'm able to accomplish that so let's get going on this cute little card so for this i am using thick whisper white cardstock it's four and a quarter by 11 so it's just the standard card base when you um, place the $35 order, you'll get a, a kit to make these three cards that I'm going to show. And your thick white will be scored. Excuse me, it will be scored for you. So I've got that. I've got this is actually, and I know I used it last month, some of the, um, the rainbow paper. What is it called? Sunshine and Rainbows. But look at all these cute patterns. I wanted to go for a little bit more masculine, um, and so I went with the, the blues and the green rainbows. So I've got this little strip here, which is actually two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And I'm putting it on a little Misty Moonlight backing. So this would be super cute with any designer paper make a nice quick fast easy card so that and now we have a little um, piece of Bermuda Bay here and this is our just our little support for our thanks and go ahead and put quite a few dimensionals on the back I want to make sure when it's mailed that the banner doesn't dip put that more in the center So you can go as crazy with the dimensionals as you want, or you can go as few. I like to use more. Okay, and we're just going to put that about an inch from the top of the bottom edge of the designer paper. Next we need, now we don't have to, you actually um, could use other, I like to use liquid glue. You could try using your um, stamp and seal. Um, fine tip glue pen or we also have ad adhesive sheets and I always forget about those so what you can do is you put the adhesive sheet it's double sided and it's a, a whole sheet I don't remember the dimensions but you just put that on the back of your cardstock and then you run it through and then whatever you die cut is now a sticker and that actually would have been perfect for this just one of those awesome things that we have that I forget to use. So then we're just going to layer that up. I hope I'm still, yep, I'm still in view. 
get that layered. There we go. Remember when using the liquid glue, a little goes a long way. Oops, I still need it. All right. And I'm just use um, the basic white for the bottom layer and Misty Moonlight for the top. Misty Moonlight is one of the in colors. Our in colors are only around for two years and I am so sad to say that um, the end of, a of April actually it's going away. I'm so sad. So if you have the ink pad and don't have the ink re-inker bottle for your ink pad you want to get that now because they do sell out. Um, same with if you need any more cardstock. Um, now is the time to stock up on any of the retiring. On any of the retiring um, in colors. That would be the, um, let's see, Misty Moonlight, oh, Chest Jade, another of my favorites. Um, Magenta Madness, um, Bumblebee, and what is the other one? Hmm. I don't remember. That's not like me. I'll have to get back to you on that one. But I will be sad that it's going. <laughs> I can't remember the name because I love colors. Okay, so I put some little gems on there. And now, isn't that sweet? Now, the one you get will open the top fold. But you can also do it the standard fold. So there are, there is the first card. Now my second card is going to feature the um, Friendly Hello Bundle. Now this is one of the um, celebration items you can get for free with a $100 purchase. And this one is very understated. I really haven't seen too much with it um, out on Facebook and, and Pinterest. But you get this great stamp set. Um, three, I love that, Hello Friend. Um, it's nice and bold. Um, all the floral images, but the paper is just gorgeous. So you've got stripes, you've got polka dots, love the polka dots. Um, the freesia, the petal pink, pool party, and granny apple green are the colors that are mainly featured in here. So what we're going to create with that is this fun card. And what you'll get in your kit course is the designer paper your black mat you're gonna have two pieces of white and a strip and what these um, the smaller one I'm not quite sure how big your smaller ones gonna be it'll be roughly the same size as the insert so one will go inside the card this one is for stamping your image now this one um, you know you probably won't have these same images yet if you do um, but this will be easy enough to recreate with any floral that you might have. And as you notice, this one's going to be super easy for you to recreate because there's no stamping. So I thought I'd make it easy for you this month. All right, so let's start with, with this layering. And we've got three different size strips, and I'm going with the, um, the wider strip goes to the left and I'm going to narrow to the right. And that's Fresh Freesia, Petal Pink, and, and Pool Party. Let's go ahead and layer those. Make sure there's a nice even border around. I kind of, mine's a little wonky. Oh, well, that'll be fine. All right, now let's do our stamping. Okay, so what I'm using is the two flowers and the, um, hope you have the best birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll stamp that on this banner first. And your banner is going to be extra long, so you'll be able to uh, work around where wherever you want your placement to be. And I'm, I'm 
might be off screen a little bit, but I need some um, some darker underneath my uh, my white strip so I can see where I'm going here. And I need to stand up too. Sorry. My my chair is very loud. It's one of those bouncy ball ones, and it's the most comfortable chair I own. And my cat pops it like at least once a year, so I'm always <laughs> replacing it. And my husband's like, why do you keep replacing it? I said, because it's so comfortable. It feels so good. It, it's the only chair that doesn't hurt my back. All right, and then I stamped the flowers. Now on this insert piece, you'll see, I'm, I wanted my inside to be pretty too. So what I'm doing here is I'm just stamping um, the lower right and the upper left. Okay. Now I'm not going to bother coloring those um, just because you don't need to suffer through all that. I mean, I guess you could fast forward if you watched on replay. So, okay. So I'm using the... Um, the dark petal pink for the the center and now for the flowers I'm using the um the fresh freesia and this one this petal here since it's overlapped by the other flower I'm coloring this whole petal dark because it's going to have a lot of shadow usually for the most part what I do is I just go around the center of the flower and up these little lines that they already give us just to highlight those. I like to go one flower at a time. It helps your um, your markers blend if it's still if it's still damp. Ah, the satisfying squeak of a marker. And I'm not worrying too much if I have a little white left in there. That just adds some highlights. Okay, now we'll go over here to the other. I'm just kind of doing a flick. Sometimes I draw and sometimes I flick. I don't think it really matters too much. It probably does to the professionals, but I'm not really a professional. I love to color and I love our alcohol markers. They they just blend so so pretty. And um I did want to point out one thing. See how pink this marker is when it first um, when you first color with it look how it um, it fades to the right color afterwards so sometimes when you're coloring with these um, at first you're like ew that looks gross give it a chance to dry and then um, and then see if you really like it then you can go back and add more color if you need to so that is one trick that I've learned with these and most colors are true but you do have a few random ones that don't and you can you can blend different colors together um, you know you can do your yellows and greens together and you know make some beautiful colors so I'm gonna go ahead and put my insert in and actually that is pretty just with the black and white even though it's not colored that is pretty um, next we do have to fussy cut I should have had this done ahead of time and did a switch out. But I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about the chocolate cake I need to go bake for tonight. I was hoping to get it in the oven before the Facebook Live, but that didn't happen. That's all right, I still have plenty of time. Pour 
work. I'm just going to make some chicken parm for dinner and have chocolate cake. And that just sounded really good. Notice how I am actually turning my paper and I'm leaving just a, a smidge of white around. This is my favorite way of cutting out images. To me, I don't like cutting right on the black line. I feel that you can see every little mistake when you try cutting right on the black line. So when you have the little white, your eye automatically goes to the black line and all your mistakes are forgiven, which is awesome. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and plop this down. We'll center that. Okay, next we will dovetail the end, the left side of the birthday banner. And I want it to overlap a little bit. And I also want it to tuck behind the flowers. So I only put adhesive up so far. So then I can go ahead and I'm putting it down about a half half inch above the bottom edge there. And then I can tell that halfway through here that is going to be hidden by the flower. So I just snip that. And then dimensionals on our flowers. Stick this down and it will be beautiful. And notice how I also like to kind of have it over um, overlapping our focal point of designer paper. I just think that looks really cool. So there we have it. There is our friendly hello card. That's so pretty. I'm sorry. I get tickled with my cards sometimes. Okay, so now this, our third and final card is a slim light card. And what that means is it's um, eight and a half long by three and a half wide. And these cards, they fit in like a business size envelope, but Stampin' Up! actually has in the catalog, let's see, nope, that's not them. I meant to have those handy. Um, we actually do have slimline envelopes in the catalog, and they're they're kind of hidden, to be quite honest. Let me see if I can find them real quick. I mean, we do have a slimline die set. Here we go. So we have a slimline die set, and then the stamp set. I love the stamp set. But the envelopes are right here, and they come in white, gray, and um, soft succulent. It's um, 15 envelopes for $10, and they're beautiful, and they have the little lining in them. So with the kit, you will get one of those envelopes. But yeah, they, um, they're they just in there with the samples, so they, they get... I didn't, It took me a long time to actually see them in there. Someone was saying, oh yeah, you see the envelopes? I'm like, no. <laughs> That's too busy looking at the stamp sets. So this card also uses the daffodils. So the daffodil designer paper, um, which is free uh, with a $50 purchase. And the card is actually one of the samples um, in the celebration brochure. So here's the daffodil afternoon. The picture just does not do it justice. But here's the, um, the sample right there. And it's just so pretty. So I had to recreate that. And this uses the um, Daffodil Daydream stamp set for the verse. It has Mother's Day and Easter. And then these, these great um, Daffodil stamp sets. You can get them. Um, you can either buy uh, the die separate or you can buy it in a bundle with the stamp set. And here's the dies. I don't have them handy because I have them up on my wall. I have a, a magnetic wall. There are so many pieces. Um, you can do daffodil buds, um, two different perspectives of daffodils of how they are. And then you get the, um, the stems. And then you also get the cutouts for the two 
images and you also get um, butterfly and a butterfly body so it's it's a great set and it's so pretty so let's get going on this one and I loved I just love the way all these um, little swatches of the designer paper looked let's see is that in there yeah okay so a slimline card is seven by eight and a half uh, just always forget what that is I wanted to make sure you knew it's easy and now I've got a piece of very vanilla so this is another one. All you'll need to recreate this on your own is your adhesives and a verse. This could be Happy Spring. This could be, oh, I guess I cut that a little short. I promise yours will be the right size. I don't think it's going to make that much difference. All right, and now what we do, and you get a good idea of all the different patterns in here where is oh here's my we're just going to start laying down all these and this is the stitched rectangles um die set that i used to to um cut out all these you could just do strips you don't need to use a die but i do like the texture that the stitching gives so we're just overlapping and Placing these down. It's okay to leave a little bit of um, the ivory popping through. I'm just going to quick lay these out, make sure I'm okay on the space. Oh, yeah, I'm doing good. Sometimes I'll, oh, isn't that pretty? Look at the back side of that one. Um, sometimes I'll lay them out ahead of time and then put them down. But I just went for it today. All right, look how cute, just so easy. Now talk about easy. So there are a lot of pieces for the daffodil, but they're not difficult. Um, I would say the trickiest part might be to line up um, the dimension pieces of these daffodils. Let's see, do I have some? I'm gonna get a little piece of green so they really pop. The sprite green is granny apple green. So the um, the petal pink for the, the tulip, um, I'm going to call these the detail pieces or dimension pieces. I'll probably say both. Um, this one's super easy to line up. So for the detailed pieces, I like to look for um, this petal where it has kind of like the hard edge. And then you can see on the detailed piece, there's one that, that also has kind of that, that hard edge. Or turn, I guess is probably more appropriate. So that's how I found to line these up quick and easily. turn up there, hard angle. Same with my detail piece. And there, lines up easy peasy. Alright, I forgot to check to see if there's anyone asking questions. Okay, so next what I do is I lay out the 
my um, my stem. That's a stem, and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna put my um, daffodil about where I want my daffodil to be sitting. So I want my daffodil about there. So now I know I need to raise my stem up because it's it's gonna be sitting too low. And I'm using the liquid glue again, little goes a long way. And I'm gonna pop that right up there and just glue that down. All right, now I'll take my, uh, my leaves. Another good thing about these dies is you do, it does come with two of the base and two of the detailed. Um, same with the flower center. And then, oh, oh, I need this down here. So it's out of way of my, my flower. And um, it also comes with the, the stem in the two different door orientations. So it has one where it leans to the left and then there's another die cut where it leans to the right. They really, um, they really outdid themselves with this die set. They really thought it through and what we'd need and um, how much cutting we'd have to do. All right, and now I'm layering my other leaf right there. Now I am going to put my two um, petals together. I offset them so it makes it nice and full. And now I'll put some, or a dimensional back there. You know what, here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more. Notice how I'm only putting them on the, um, the bottom layer of the petals. There we go. Oops, I didn't let that dry long enough. Here, we'll put that one, that one down first, put that right back there. No one will even know. <laughs> there we go. And then I also used another dimensional on the back of um, the flower center. And this one's going to be facing up a little bit more, looking more to the sun than my, my first sample. And that's totally fine because all flowers are different and it's pretty. Okay, so next all we have to do is add our banner. Now this would be great for a birthday card, just a thinking of you. Happy spring, because Easter actually isn't until the middle of April this year, so it's pretty late. Um, that's a little crooked. But, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, we'll add some dimensionals to the back of this guy. And I'm going to center it over here a little bit to the left. Yeah, I think that's a little more balanced, and that's actually how they have it in this in the uh, in the catalog. All right, so that is our third card for February. I hope you loved all these cards as much as I do. Let me hide my all my little stamps images there. All right, so that is for February. If you have any questions, please um, let me know. Um, you can um, email me, private message me, whatever. Um, to get the card kit, you do need to place a $35 order um, on my website, or you can message me and use the, um, the special host code VA3KFKWE. Um, and I'll send you the supplies to make all three cards. But don't forget also that it is celebration, so if you do purchase, um, place a $50 order, you could get, you know, one item for free, or $100, you could get the bundle with that stamp set and the designer paper. So thank you so much. You all have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.